Hi, this is Zena with Zena Report. In today's video, come along as I explain to you how we got two bonus days in Costa Rica completely free and paid for by travel insurance. Come with me to Puerto Vieja, Cahuita and Limon. So I'm here in the airport and I want to give you guys a massive travel update and tell you why it's so important to get travel insurance. It's Friday, January 28th and we were supposed to fly back tonight after midnight, so January 29th at 12.30 a.m. It was a direct red eye flight, but what happened is there's this huge snowstorm coming today and tomorrow in New York. They're calling it a bomb cyclone which is kind of the wind, the strength of hurricane, but it's snow and it's a blizzard because it's winter. Around 11 a.m., I get a text and an email saying that our flight is canceled. Um, calling American Airlines can take hours. I wanted to come in here, go to the gate counter, talk to them and see what's actually going on, what's actually available. So I got to the airport I got to the counter and they basically told me to uh, wait till Sunday night into Monday, which is two nights, and then take the red eye from here directly to New York. So the same kind of flight we were originally going to do, but two days later. So now for part two, guys, I bought travel insurance, as you know, and I keep telling you how important travel insurance is. So I read the travel insurance policy on the way over here. Uh, in the car and I originally thought that I have $200 a night for all three of us uh, and what's covered is lodging, transportation and food for the duration of, uh, it's called the trip delay, so however long you're delayed and then it's set up to a maximum of $1,000 which would mean five days. Um, so after I rebooked the tickets I actually called uh, Berkshire Hathaway who is uh, the insurer and they told me that we have $200 per person, per night, up to $1,000 per person. Which means that we have three of us, a total of up to $600 for each night. They actually said that a rental car is included uh, as part of the uh, money that we can use to get reimbursed. So guys, this was a budget vacation. We did not have a rental car. But now I'm going to try to see if I can find a rental car for us for the next two days. And they said the hotel does not necessarily have to be in the vicinity of the airport, which means we have two days now with uh, free accommodations and, and a free car rental and free food. And we can go explore Costa Rica another two days in a completely different and really fun way. Get travel insurance. Do it. This is the airport chaos right now on Friday afternoon. I'm glad we came a little bit earlier and were able to get our flight rescheduled after it was cancelled. We're sitting here, upstairs, and figuring out what we're going to do next. I'm not even sure which brand this is. But it's automatic. It's an SUV, four-wheel drive. So that's what matters. We were able to get it for $224. In total, and that's for two nights with an additional driver and all taxes and their expensive insurance. This is going to be reimbursed by our travel insurance. So this is what we got. We rented a car and we got on the road. And it was sunny and now it's like very cloudy. And we decided to go visit the Caribbean coast because we were already on the Pacific coast. So, um, we are going to Puerto Vieja and it's like four and a half hours away. So far we're about an hour, an hour and a half in on the trip and we stopped over here. It's kind of like a really open rest area. You can see a lot of cars parked behind me and they have a buffet style. Uh, you take a tray and uh, there's servers and you tell them what you want. 
um, there's Caribbean style food, there's Costa Rican food, there's a lot of fruits and vegetables and salads and meats and a seafood, just like a really, really nice full buffet. And we got ourselves plates. Hi. And we're eating. And I have a cappuccino for the road. Guys, we came across a sloth on the road. Oh, he's so cute. Look how cute he is, wow. So there were no hotels along the way. We ended up driving all the way straight through, through beautiful, windy, mountainous roads. And then we arrived there very late. We were looking for a room in every town in like perhaps a one hour radius. We stopped at so many nice places and nobody had a room available. And then we came here and they, it was around past midnight and they said they had one cancellation two hours ago. And this is how we got this beautiful place where to stay. All right, guys, oh my God, this thing is we crazy. are in a room slash tree house. We have a jacuzzi, beautiful lighting. This is the bathroom, guys. It's really, really lovely. Pretty big. Rustic and modern at the same time. And it has a shower. Little fridge, little coffee maker, fan. Sounds of the jungle. And beds, guys, with canopies. Two big beds with canopies. And this is the ceiling, like an A-frame. Full of some kind of... I don't even know what this is. Leaves. Really, really, really nice. And the hammock. This is the life. I forgot what it felt like to be in a hammock. You like it? Yeah, I think I'll take it. We're going to go to breakfast. Make a Look at all these little tree houses, cabins, rooms, whatever you want to call it. We are walking here on a little path. It's rainy in this rainforest type of environment. There's trees all above us. Little plants. Walking to breakfast, guys came here last night so we didn't see how it looks in the day oh, it's a lot of those really lovely cabin it says welcome to the jungle it's beautiful spider webs I don't know if you can see it and here's the spider making his way restaurant it's dark and beautiful vibe with lights even for breakfast. Hola. Hi. Hi. After a delicious complimentary breakfast at the hotel's restaurant, we checked out the rest of the restaurant area, includes seating and even gaming. Then we decided to take a walk down the long path through the beautiful jungle to head to the hotel's private beach area.
stopped at this lovely, lovely bakery to get coffee. I'm still very tired. I've been driving. Check out this lovely place. It's a beautiful little drive. There's a lot of um, little shops, little restaurants, uh, little kayak rentals, little surf rentals, little things on the road that sell like fruit juice. Just a lovely little town, long, windy road. Got some coffee. I think it's Artism cappuccino. Coffee. What is it? Artisan That's coffee. That's latte macchiato. And this a is, latte macchiato, guys. This is cappuccino. Guys, so we drove to Cahuita. Yeah. The beach. Yeah. We found a restaurant here. Yeah. Right on the beach. That is, this uh, restaurant is right by the national park. That's the entrance to the national park. This is the outdoor seating. And this restaurant. Right on this little beach. So I have a massive plate of lobster. Yes, the travel insurance did reimburse for the $70 dinner. To finish off the dinner, we came in here near the same restaurant and they have ice creams. Oh my gosh, guys. They have blackberry and that's the uh, Kohita special. They have meat. And it's a whole bunch of fruit and also charcoal, so it's black. And then this. They have me. And they have this boy. Yeah. And then it's Chantilly and it looked like vanilla, but apparently it's made of whipped cream. And then they have cocoa, chocolate, mini peanuts, chocolate, guanabana sour sap. So in the Heladeria National Park, I went with the Cahuita Special, which has some fruits and also charcoal in it. And then I get, went with the Chantilly, which is whipped cream. So black and white, ice cream, Heladeria, it tastes amazing. Kind of like a mix of ice cream and sorbet. So, so, so good, guys. Hanel, which is cinnamon, and mani, which is uh, peanuts, I think, peanuts. Yeah? yeah, peanuts. And chocolate. chocolate, look at that face. Monkey, they're monkeys. Monkey. Oh my gosh, they're monkeys, guys, guys. Monkey. Monkeys, 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 monkeys. Monkey. Oh, they're so awesome. Guys, I said we saw sloths. Now we need to see monkeys. A minute later, I pointed we, out. Norm monkeys. looks this way, and there's actually monkeys. See you. How is this chocolate ice cream? So good. After dinner, we drove back to San Jose, about a four and a half hour road trip, and we arrived in the hotel really late at night. Guys, I'm checking into the Windham Hotel next to SJO Airport. A huge beautiful hotel with a nice lobby and it has a casino some gift shops it's closed now uh, this is the check-in the person went to get someone I think because it's late it's 11 p.m. and we didn't have reservations okay guys this is the room in the Windham Hotel we have the bathroom here, sink, toilet, towels, very spacious, actual full-size tub, really, really nice modern tiles. We have a closet here, extra blankets, a safe, some hangers, another door, ironing board, iron. This is the main room. Two queen size beds. We have a desk. A big size fridge. Some cups for water. And a really fancy coffee maker with some real mugs. We have a TV. A nice closet full of drawers, center nightstand, air conditioning, and some nice wall decor. 
guys there's a really really nice pool by the hotel good morning it's finally flight day actually good afternoon it's a, almost 12 o'clock we have to check out of the hotel it's currently 12.01 this morning we were so tired we did not get out of the room we did not go down for breakfast we did not go to enjoy any of their five amazing pools um we just rested but that's great because the flight is at 12 30 a.m and there's a lot lot to do still today guys this hotel is massive massive just really really large and beautiful with a lot of eating areas a lot of sitting areas it's like open breezy very nice Closed, guys. I think it's closed due to COVID. The coffee shop looks closed. It's a business center. Tourism info. A little restaurant. And the gift shop, which is actually open. Pineapple water. How is it? A water with a little bit of uh, a faint pineapple. That's really good. So we're here at COVID testing sites. We don't have an appointment. Hopefully they let us in. Walk-ins. Let's do this. You got this. You got this. and then take a shuttle from there to the airport but we have not had breakfast yet so we're coming here like to an outdoor place where they're selling stuff and we're gonna use up our colonists and get some snacks to go so we got a corn on the cob and we're getting three of these these are filled with pork beans and cheese all right guys we just returned the car to the rental car place Goodbye, car. We ate a little. The thing we bought on the road, so we had a little bit of water from the clean water machine here in the rental car place. Now we're feeling a little better. We're ready to go to the airport and get checked in. Hey guys, we arrived to the airport, airport. and uh, with this shot all in on the way back, we actually already received our COVID test results. And it's all negative. Yay! We can go home. Hooray, right, hooray. Right. It's so negative all the time. <laughs> negative. Can't deal with this negativity anymore. COVID negative. COVID negative. It's a bit busy, guys. It's a bit busy. We're going to go check in. Do nothing. Uh -oh. American Express Santa Maria VIP Lounge at SJO Airport. We're sitting here by the wall and we each have like a little table next to us. You can see the view out the window. Free pastry. All right, we have free alcohol in the lounge. Cheers. Cheers. This is lounge food. Pasta, a Thai sauce, a salad, a bready thing, a white, uh, it looks like ranch dressing, some cutlery, and my wine. 
So we have free lounge access through Priority Pass with the Venture X Visa credit card. Lounge got a bit emptied out of people, so now I can show you around a bit better. Here's the outside, and this plane was taxiing into here earlier. This is right above gate 5. And you can see the beautiful mountains behind us and all the airport action here. For display only, don't touch. Okay. You got to pick which chocolates you want from the sample. Guava, guayaba, guayaba. Very good. Thank you. Let me see it. Mm, what do you think? You like it, eh? We left the lounge and walked around the airport for a while. We had delicious burgers and fries for dinner. And then it was finally, finally time to head onto the flight. This concludes our Costa Rica trip. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe for more travel videos and check out my other Costa Rica videos as well. Bye-bye for now.